Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sunny G channel. My name is Jessica. This week I wanna talk about mineral sunscreen versus chemical sunscreen. What the differences are, uh, why you should buy one or the other, you know, pricing, scent, texture, all that good stuff. So today I'm actually gonna be comparing two different sunscreens from the same brand. I've got Coppertone Ultra Guard SPF 50 as my mineral, I'm sorry, my chemical sunscreen. And then I have Coppertone Pure and Simple as my mineral sunscreen. Um, again, they're both SPF 50, both great products. These are both my bottles. I use them, but um, I just wanted to go over how to know the differences between the two from kind of an average person. I'm not a doctor. I'm not, uh, you know, paid by these brands. So I'm just giving you a breakdown based on how I see it. So let's start with mineral sunscreen. What is a mineral sunscreen? Uh, the two main active ingredients in a mineral sunscreen are minerals, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. You might have one or the other, or you might even have a combination of the two, a different percentage of the two uh, in your active ingredients. So this one, as an example, just has zinc oxide in there, 24.08%, um, and that acts as your main sunscreen ingredient. Everything else that's uh, in the inactive ingredients on a sunscreen are things like your scents, um, the things that make it a lotion, uh, that hold the different particles up in the lotion. Um, again, don't recommend making your own sunscreen at home. It's not rated, it's not safe, I don't recommend it. Um, but we'll talk more about that in another episode as well. Um, so zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, they sit on your skin and reflect UV rays. Think of them like little mirrors located on your skin. They're like microscopic minerals that you put on your skin and then they reflect those rays. So when you go to put it on though, and I'll put some on here for you guys, You'll notice it's very white when you go to put it on because it's not being absorbed into your skin. Now I know I'm already pale, so it might be hard to tell, uh, but there is definitely a white coating and as it dries, it will, it will be more noticeable as well. And again, if you've got a different complexion than I do, this is important for you to note because this will be even more apparent on you. But you can see the two differences between my hands. One is more white and one is not so white. Um, when we're talking about a chemical sunscreen, however, it's exactly that. It is full of chemicals that block out the sun. Not to say that these aren't safe. Um, the FDA has rated any of these sunscreens that are available out there on the market um, and their chemicals as safe. So they are safe to consume. But again, being an informed consumer, I wanted to let you guys know. So there are two big players in chemical sunscreens, and those are the benzones. You have oxybenzone and avobenzone. Um, when we talk about these chemicals that get absorbed into your skin, they're not necessarily healthy for you and they're not necessarily healthy for the environment. And there are extra active ingredients and inactive ingredients in chemical sunscreens, which again, also aren't good for you. So you've got like octanoxate, homosalate, octisalate, and octocrylene. Um, these tend to make a sunscreen not reef safe if you're concerned with that at all. And also there have been some studies done that show, you know, sunscreen and these chemicals can leach into your bloodstream as soon as, you know, a day. Uh, so it's just something to be aware of, especially if like you're breastfeeding or again, you're trying to be more health conscious or you're just trying to be a little more conscious of the environment as well. Just be aware of that. Um, let me apply some of this Coppertone Ultra Guard SPF 50 as well. I'll do it on my other hand so you can see. This bottle's almost empty. You can tell how much I used it. <laughs> um, what you'll find is it's still white. It's still, it looks about the same as the other one, but the difference comes when you're rubbing it in. It's drastically less white on my skin and it almost immediately absorbs into my skin. Um, Again, the comparison of the two, very white, not so white. I mean, still white, but <laughs> um, this uh, chemical sunscreen has, like I mentioned, chemicals in it. So it's got scents, it's got lotion, it's got all these other things in there, which might not be necessary, um, but they also might agitate sensitive skin, anybody who has different allergies. Whereas the Coppertone Pure and Simple, as an example of mineral sunscreen, doesn't have all of these items in here. So it's free of dyes, it's free of allergens, it's free of, again, that oxybenzone, which you definitely wanna stay away from. 
Um, the important thing to look out for in both of these, just as with any sunscreen, is that it is uh, broad spectrum UVA protection, UVA and UVB protection. So um, there are some sunscreens out there, believe it or not, it's shocking, I know, that are not broad spectrum. Um, so you can run into a whole host of issues, medical problems. Um, you can really get burned in the long run, excuse my pun, couldn't resist. Um, so again, they are the, the chemicals within a chemical sunscreen, they are perfectly safe. Uh, you can go ahead and put them on your skin. I'm not detracting from that. Again, both of these are my bottles. But what I would recommend is, you know, for every day and you're putting it on a lot of times throughout the day or you're putting it on your face, go for the mineral sunscreen, you know, splurge a little bit, treat yourself. Um, if you're just doing a couple touch-ups, you know, maybe you're just doing it on your hands while you're driving or you're wearing flip-flops and you're putting it on your feet, maybe you use this and kind of parse it out a little bit, stretch it out so you're not bathing yourself in chemicals. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, the last thing to consider about chemical and mineral sunscreen is the cost. So when I purchased this bottle, I believe I paid $10 for it. And this is a six ounce bottle. Um, so that can be a hefty cost to take care of your body and take care of the environment and respect the environment. Whereas the chemical sunscreen, it probably cost me $4. Um, so you've got a drastic cost difference here. Uh, and that is very important to keep in mind because again, it's pretty unfortunate if you're trying to take care of yourself and you're also trying to respect the environment, but now you have to pay more than double the price. Um, even for the same brand. <laughs> so it's a little it's a little hard to navigate, but um, I just wanted you guys to be informed consumers, make your own choices, make your best choices. Oh, and I did wanna recommend that everyone out there download the EWG's Healthy Living app. So it's a free app available uh, in any of the app stores, I, I guess. Um, I heard about it from my doctor and it's been a lifesaver for me, honestly. You can scan sunscreens and look up their rating from one to 10. One being, you know, it's a pretty healthy sunscreen. It doesn't have a lot of additives in there. It doesn't have a lot of things that might agitate sensitive skin and it might even be reef safe. Um, and uh, 10 being, oh my gosh, it's full of all of these different chemicals and it's got a ton of scents and inorganic materials in it. Um, the Goddess Garden, as an example, is rated as a one on the EWG's Healthy Living app. And that's because all of its ingredients, active and inactive, are all natural, they're organic, it's vegan, cruelty free, and it's reef safe. Um, and an important thing to note on that is that not every mineral sunscreen is reef safe. There still could be some chemicals here in the inactive ingredients that are not safe for reefs. So if you are swimming in the ocean, please, please, please just try to find yourself a reef safe sunscreen. I plan on doing a couple more reviews of those as well before the summer is out, so stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, if there are any other products you guys would like to see me review or any kind of subjects about the sun and sun safety that you want to see me talk about feel free to post that in the comments below uh, of course I would appreciate any subscribes if you guys are enjoying these videos so far and you want to see more otherwise I will see you guys next week thank you so much for joining me